we've spent the morning tidying up even more getting everything cleared away because today is the day that we're going to cut the rope yeah and head off to the nearby island to give um, Nutshell a bit of a shakedown and so this is where we're at it's looking a little bit like home now and the chart table is clear for the first time ever and I'm still working on this lamp I tried an orange because someone suggested a grapefruit or a lemon um, no sorry I tried a lemon because I didn't have an orange or a grapefruit but it didn't really work it just made a mess and we've got our bananas and our plantains in the veggie rack because we didn't even know they were plantains so I've been doing a bit of research on how to cook those so we'll be having a go at that and we're just about to head to shore and take the last batch of rubbish over yeehaw it's been I don't know how many bags so I've lost count 30 or 40 30 or 40 bags of rubbish it's a beautiful day here in Panama it's a nice day to hoist these sails and see if there's anything under those bags there's our last water run um yeah looks like we're ready to go just doing last checks by the looks of it getting ready to fill with water and fuel it's very exciting i don't think magnus slept last night no i think Not he was doing a tigger and bouncing off the walls yeah i'm pretty excited um so we're both excited i'm yeah i'm excited i feel a little bit funny but i'm in a good way i'm just you know i've never done this before so I'm glad I just checked the staysail because there's a pin that's rusted through so I'm just going to replace that. So what's going on baby? Well I've just, um, there's a big queue at the fuel jetty so I thought I'll get do some prep work before we uh, go over there. And I just took the sail cover off the staysail and there's the staysail there and it looks like it's in good nick. Fantastic. Um, I had to replace a, a rusted out pin but otherwise yeah all good. So let's take the cover off the main and see what happens, eh? Let's see if there's a main under here. You never know your luck in a big city. Looks quite skinny. Does it feel like there's a sail under there? No. That's what I said. It's very skinny. Looks very empty. Building some drama. No, I mean, look at it. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. I know. I hope there is. Is there something there is. in there? Yeah. Whew. Gotta have drama. We don't need any more, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I think drama happens all by itself. It doesn't need to be created yeah. somehow. We know the mizzen is good because we hoisted that the other day to check it. But we'll um, we'll only know about these two when we hoik them up. Dirty, but pretty good, Nick. That's good. Well, I wish they didn't serve it. asked me to go and get the sheets so I was trying to find something big and white. Right, so if you can throw that wrap around the winch, a couple of wraps. Well I did that, a couple of wraps around there, don't know if I did it right but it's done. Setting up the jib I think. Take that and throw it around the winch. Right on. Right on. I'm not sure what Mangus is doing now. It's all a big learning curve for me. No, we just take as a video. Oh, okay. So, by because we've got our silly hats on, yeah. that means that we are, we're actually started this adventure. Yes. Well, we started a long time ago, but we actually started cruising around the world today. We did. How's that feel? That's good. <laughs> so, yeah, we've started cruising around the world. Um, this is day one. Yeah. Just left Balboa, heading out in the channel, yeah. past all of the ships, yeah. and uh, over to the island of Taboga. Taboga. So, so we're going to hoist the sail once we get out of the shipping channel here. Yeah, and see if they work. <laughs> yeah, 
see how many halyards break. See what happens. Yeah. Maybe that. So pretty cool. Yeah. Catch you later. Okay, ciao. See ya. Bye. So Capitan. <laughs> Capitan, it's how are you mate, feeling Wendy. at this oh, moment? Oh, pretty weird. Pretty weird. Just, it's like it's actually happening. All this preparation, all this time, and all these hassles, and all this in unknownness, and it's just happening. You look very cosy there in your spot. It's made the first time I've sat here and steered. First time I've steered. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we're just passing a big, um, big ship coming in here. This will be our first ship encounter. Yeah. There's no one coming up behind us, which is a nice feeling. There's the ship. You could show us on the map where we're going to go. Yeah. Here comes the ship. Navigation holder. Do you like the navigation holder? <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. This might be the last ship we go past, actually, or see going past. It's just coming into view now. Thank you, I'm the you. And here comes the ship. It's actually a floating pontoon carrying a, some sort of production. Birds are busy catching fish out there. We're just approaching Taboga, which is where we're going to kip for the night. We're going to drop an anchor and check things out a bit. It looks quite cute, doesn't it? Little tiny place. Lots of uh, fancy boats. There's a rainbow. Isn't that lovely? We're going in. We're at, we're at Taboga Island. Taboga, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's our first first day of yeah. our circumnavigation. First day. It's day one. And um, it's been a good day. We didn't sail, we just motored. It was, what, two miles? Yeah. And uh, now we're going for our first swim since we got here. It's pretty cool. On a rope though, because there's a bit of a, a current. A bit of a current, so we've got the... The old rope. Oh, I'm just unblocking me um, water inlet holes. Okay. Not getting any cooling. Isn't this the cutest little dinghy you've ever seen? That's the whole dinghy. <laughs> Hilarious. Very colourful place. Some lovely old buildings. Everybody's gone for the day now. All the uh, fun boats and the jet skis and everybody that's you ha yahooing around. They've all gone. It's all quiet now. See, they're all going, the ferries are all going. End of the day. We're catching fish! What have we got? We've got a catfish. Oh, God, I'm gonna fall in. Don't fall in. It's pretty ugly. How do you feel? That is so heavy and he's so little. A little bit surprised. <laughs> Very pretty with the night lights here. So this morning we started off here at Balboa Yacht Club. And then all the way down the shipping channel to nearly the end and we hooked at it right and we zipped our way all the way down to our current anchorage here at Tobago. We had one anchorage a bit earlier than the squall came and we dragged a bit so we moved up a bit further. I don't think it's Tobago. Tobago. Taboga. It's Taboga. Says, it's Taboga. Is yeah. that Taboga? Yeah. Let's yeah. See. See. What's going on? Uh, uh, Can you talk? Yeah. Well, this morning when I was doing my engine checks, as I do every morning, I saw all this salt water over the front of the engine, and um, I, I um. <laughs> Good camera angle, hey. I noticed that the Jabsco. Um, raw water pump was leaking so about an hour and a half ago I started taking it out and um, I just got the last bolt out oh there she goes she is out and ready to have a new have we've got another one haven't we 
Oh, you got a whole new spare pump plus all the seals. <laughs> Which is really handy. Oh, it's going to be so nice when I've got this whole area degreased. But I want to kind of can only do that when I'm up on the hard, otherwise we'll get oil in the ocean. You can see this trail of um, water here where the, it's been weeping past the, past the seal. So we'll have this puppy repaired in no time. We've got the operating table going again. Doctor, Yeah. can you fix it? Oh yeah, we can fix anything. And a bit of a scrub. Incredible access to this engine. We're just taking the seat out here, funnels out completely, so you can basically get that panel off, this panel off, and this panel off, and the whole engine, get to the whole engine. Is it working? Yeah, they're coming. They're so what is that thing? These were seized, all these, so yeah. um, I found this impact driver on the boat, and with a bit of ingenuity and um, modification we made it fit a metric system it's a lovely morning I'm doing a bit of uh, boat maintenance on the back deck it's got one of the screws to get out now all they were all seized and now we've managed to get all but one out so Magnus is fiddling around trying to work out how to do that but it's lovely look and um, there was a beautiful sunrise this morning we're reverting to the easy out yeah easy out time Easy out time has arrived. Oh, there she comes. Yeehaw. Thanks to Easy Out. Job done. All those days spent going through all the stuff on this boat was worthwhile because the one little bit that we needed just then was that tiny little box in there. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday morning. This is the view from Toboga Island in the morning. One brand new pump that I prepared earlier. So That's beautiful, look at that! Just, voila. Ha just happened to be on the boot. Yep, so we'll change them out. I'm fixing the engine. Look, see, I'm good at this. Look, I know what I'm doing. I actually do know what I'm doing. I'm tightening up screws. <laughs> I can do that. So well, I'm going to use anti-seize because the blob of metal we've got here is made of steel. These are stainless steel. That's brass, and if we don't put this on, the whole thing is going to create an electrolysis effect, and it's all going to corrode, and it's all going to bond together, and it will make a real mess. So we're going to use this. Show us how it's done, Wayne. Okay. This is how you do it. Open the tube, and you squirt a little tiny bit on there. Usually, yep, yeah, right at the beginning of the thread. Okay. I'm a, yeah. Is that enough? Yep. And then it goes in the hole. Yep. And then we do the next one. Yeah. And onward and upward. Oh, Just so at the end there. That's like that. Um, anti corrosion treatment on the 101. deck in Taboga. In Taboga. In Pacific Island. Pacific Island boat maintenance. Wearing a sarong because this is what I wear all the time. Ready to put it all back together. Grease it up. Yep. Makes it easier to get out next time. We're in a bit of a mess again. Huh. It looked good yesterday. Handbags going on. Yeah. We've got plenty of those, so that's a new one. Yeah. Doing the finishing touches, the belts are on. I'm going to see if it works. Yeah. Engine's all fixed and we're heading off and I think uh, we're about to hoist the sails. And the sail, so it's there. So I've still got to go over to the left, over to port. Yeah. Two sails up. Looks like Mangus might be going for the other one. And we're doing 1.7 knots at the moment. No, sorry, 0.7. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Go on then. We've hoisted three out of four. We haven't set them in the set anything up yet. We're just getting them up. So yeah, so far so good. Look 
caught a fish. That's Randy's line. Oh, is it the purple one? Yellow no, <gasps> <Mahi> Mahi. Woohoo! <sighs> you mean like a dolphin fish? That is a dolphin oh fish! Oh my god! Top shelf, first try! Woo! Go up! Oh, camera, camera! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh! Don't let him get me in! Ah! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Your first fish! Woo! Got one! Dinner! <laughs> Mahi mahi. I let mangas cook that because I would just destroy it. I don't know much about fish. Dolphin! There's quite a few here. Just coming up to Macheca Island, which is where we're going to anchor for the night. And then I think tomorrow we're going to do some boat work. We're ready for the fish. I'm going to have fish tacos for dinner. 